Hi, this is Linda G. Robert, your solution lady and your coach. You ever have days where you know you could be doing something or you should be doing something and you don't really feel like it because there's other things you'd rather be doing? Well, I'm having one of those days. Especially when you live by yourself. I find that when you live by yourself, and I do, that... Um, you're either having to motivate yourself or uh, maybe you're in denial and things don't need to be done or you simply want to just avoid it altogether and leave the house because there's always more fun things to do outside of, you know, what, what could be done. And so today's video is mostly about that uh, because today there are things that I want to do. I don't really want to do them. Um, because I'd rather be doing something else. And do I need to do them today? Well, you know, there you go, right? There's in your, in your thinking, does it really, really have to be done today? Not all of it. Uh, when you're thinking, does it all need to be done today? No, nothing needs to be done today. I could be doing absolutely nothing except all the things that I want to do today. And that would be okay too. There would be nothing wrong with that. But when we want to accomplish things, when we want to move forward and get things done, we have to kind of start. <laughs> we have to put it into action. And so this one of these uh, projects that I'm thinking of that I do want to work on today, um, actually there's three things. Uh, one is my uh, deck. Uh, and the other thing is the presentation for caregivers that I shared with you a couple of weeks ago that I'm working on. And there's another thing. I'm also working on a presentation for uh, brokers, insurance brokers. I got to finalize day two of that presentation. So these are things that, um, that I want done. They're fairly important. They're not urgent uh, so much that it has to be done like right this very minute. Uh, but if I don't accomplish them, uh, then I won't be able to move on to the next things. So one of the things that I have started doing was I've already started um, taking care of the deck. Uh, for example, yesterday I uh, I spray washed my deck. I borrowed, borrowed a, a pressure washer from my friend. Thanks, June. And I, you know, I did that late yesterday in between the rains because it was raining yesterday. And I also bought a can of paint. So the project has been started, and now it's waiting for me to, uh, you know, just take the next step and basically that's what I'm suggesting is just take the next step and I've also started you know the presentations both of the presentations and it's basically just finishing touches um, so I believe Stephen Covey talks about um, the A's the B's the C's and the D's and I believe the A's uh, please don't quote me on this because I am forgetting now but the A's are the big blocks and the D's are the absolutely things that are absolutely kind of useless things that I'm doing every day. So, you know, by doing a little bit every day, uh, especially when it comes to the deck or, or the projects, uh, the webinars that I'm working on, uh, eventually, uh, you know, I'll get it done. And, and who knows, maybe today I'll, I'll actually finish it. <laughs> because when I go with my energies, things get done. But the other thing that I'm also going to suggest, and I've talked about this in another video, was uh, rewarding yourself. So I mentioned there are things that uh, that I like to do, but that I don't really want to do. Uh, and because that's, that's because there are things that I'd rather be doing. Um, so what I've decided to do, and this is what I suggest, this is my tip, is I'm going to do some of the things that I'd rather not do, but I'm going to get it going. And I'm going to take a break and reward myself. And the reward could be that there's this wonderful video that I'm watching right now on mindfulness, uh, because that's part of what I'm, I'm working on for you, is developing a program for, for mindfulness, especially for the caregivers. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, so I'm rewarding myself with viewing um, this video that I'm watching, 
with reading a little bit more about it. So those are my rewards. Although it might sound really boring to you, <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to listening to this stuff. So that's my reward for being a good girl, for working on the deck, and for completing those other uh, webinars that um, that I want to do. So there's the tip, you know, even though there are things, especially when you're living by yourself, there are things that we want to accomplish uh, and we don't really feel like doing it because there's all kinds of other things we want to do. Um, when push comes to shove and it needs to be done because I'm all for going out and playing, you know, I've been playing the last few weekends, gone with friends, so it's 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 about balance, isn't it? Uh, but when things need to be done or you want to get things done, take it in small increments. Do it. Plan on doing it. And if it's just for 10 minutes, great. Reward yourself. Or if it's, I'm going to work on this for half an hour, bonus. And then reward yourself. And I like the idea of reward. I know it kind of sounds like a, you know, a child looking for their, for their candies. But it really does make a difference. It, it really does. Um, so we're looking at this from the positive side. What's going to get me going is um, the fact that I know that I could uh, watch this this video on mindfulness after after I've done a little bit of work. So what is it going to be for you? You know, what is it that you need to do? Let's say today. Oh, maybe you've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, and it's got to be done, and you know it's got to be done. So what is it that you're going to be doing and how long are you going to do it? And what's going to be your reward? Even a small reward for having spent some time working on it. Uh, so I'd like you to write your comments below. I'm going to be posting this on Facebook. I'm going to be posting it on uh, YouTube as well. So subscribe to my YouTube channel or uh, like me on, on Facebook. Uh, so that we can keep each other connected, you know. I'm also going to be uh, probably posting a little video when I've done some of the some of the deck that I want to do. So this is Linda G. Robert, your solution lady and your coach. And for more information on my services, please visit me at www.lindagrobert.com. And stay tuned because that webinar that I'm talking about for um, caregivers um, to prevent burnout is going to be available at the end of this month. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. Talk to you soon. Bye.